Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Today is Mimosa Hotline. And as always, you are joining me, my business bestie, Ronnie Bartless, our business strategist. I myself am Ashley Rhoda, your brand strategist. And I see live, but it's misbehaving. So this is how this, this is it. This is, it. This, is this has been my week with tech mm-hmm. <laughs> all week. I've I, and it's not even Mercury retrograde and tech has hated me all week. It says that we're like, we're alive. Okay. So excuse me, everyone. You're going to hear the background that I can't really, oh wait, yes, I can. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Hello. We're going to try that a little bit more smoothly. <sighs> Hi, everybody. Mimosa Hotline. It's Thursday, where we come to you live with the real, the raw, the unfiltered, what's going on in our week, um, things that we want to bring up to discuss and hopefully share our experience and expertise and dive into a little bit more. Um, We were in the green room for a bit because there's a lot going on and we're trying to figure out what is best for uh, sharing with you. And um, if you are live or on the replay, please join us in the comments section. Um, That's where we love to hear your questions, hear what topics can we support you with. Um, engage with us. Like we're here to serve you and also um, do what we love, which is talk. (laughs) We do love to talk. (laughs) Okay. So um, maybe we should like green room live for a second. Should we just like figure out like you were talking about, you wanted to share about your week and things. Do we want to just go that route? Do we want to go on one of the topics? I I mean, there's, let's just talk about our week because it leads into a bunch of topics. I feel like that could be discussed and like, I'm pulling this up is my how people, I know this is how, I think this is how people do business. Like seriously, like this is happy hour talk, except for yeah. it's in the middle of the day. That's true. In the morning. Yes. True. True. So <laughs> what's been going on for your week, madam? So I like at the beginning of the show, I've had all kinds of tech issues this week. Yeah. It's not even Mercury retrograde. I don't even know what's happening. So yesterday I worked with Jim yesterday afternoon. So, okay, let me backpedal a little bit. Last week, we talked about, we were vetting marketing people. Mm -hmm. And the one gave us this whole like spiel about SEO, local Local, that wasn't what you needed. Right. So, and I know you're vetting some vendors right now too. So this kind of coincides with that. Mm -hmm. Yesterday when we worked together, it's like, we were supposed to have a follow-up meeting with her yesterday afternoon. And Jim and I both sat down yesterday morning and was like, I just, I like her program. This is just not what we need right now. He was like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste her time or ours. It's like, no kidding. So we kind of like pushed her off. I emailed her back. was like, we really like your program. You're great. Like follow up with us in six months. We might be ready for this. So we haven't officially hired Sunny that we're going to go with, but that's most likely going to happen. But congratulations, Sunny. You got the job. Did you hear it? (laughs) I know, yeah, most likely that's going to happen. I'm going to have Sunny on the show because she's amazing. I love her. Yeah. She's a definitely, oh, she's definitely a bestie for sure. Um, but so then, but that proposal kind of sparked this Google my business like listing for the company because she's like, you have two listings and it's confusing and there are two different addresses. So we went down the rabbit hole yesterday of this Google my business trying to fix it. And Jim's got Google My Business. He's updated things. He's like, but it keeps pulling too. And it's once the wrong address. And then we found an address in the site. And we were like, maybe it's pulling from there. So we changed that and updated it. And then we found a whole nother like Google brand account that's connected to the YouTube. And so by four o'clock, we were both like, I'm so fucking confused by all of this. I don't know what to do. And I was like, I have to deal with this tomorrow. I can't handle this anymore. My brain is about to die. Like it was, I... And I do this for a living and I can't figure it out. So you know what I always laugh at is like when people get domainia, it's what I call when they start buying domains or they start setting up new Gmail accounts for the next idea that they thought they should name the business and they think that's what they should do. And then a few years down the line, it comes back to bite you because then you have to log into those accounts. You have to remember the passwords. You have to like find them. And yeah, it's a clusterfuck. Yeah, no, it was, it, so we still haven't fixed it. We, I, I've got a couple of Google partners too. If you need support, let me know. Um, I've got a few people, I'm sure you do too, but um, there's a few people on my team that are Google partner certified. And there are days that I'm like, let's do this. Hi viewers. 
I see you. I have now decided that it has to be at least two people. Then I know it's not me watching because I think I can't oh. decide if when I pull it up, it counts me as a viewer or not. So like, I've been talking to myself this whole time. Hey, viewer, say hi. And it wasn't, <laughs> but I see two. So that must mean that there's someone else in the ether watching us right now. So anyhow, <sighs> if there's any questions, let us know. Um, but yeah, so no, the Google thing. Well, that's the other thing. Let's talk about that weird tech. And I think I should out myself to save everyone, but I might cause like a global apocalyptic zombie <laughs> issue by saying this. Do you remember? Oh, they went away. That's fine. I'll, that's fine. You spook easily. That's fine. Um, so remember that must be a Google on, employee. Yep. Yeah, right. Gotta go. Um, <laughs> So remember how we were going through all my systems and like some of my long time ago VAs were messaging like, hey, I got notified you changed this. Well, yeah. there's also another catch thing. I love Google. I love it. I will still use it. I currently have this problem though. I found out, we found out past VAs who went into my Google account and created a document on my behalf like they should as a VA would they yes. own the document. So yes. if I go back and I make an update to it, they're being notified, even though I fired them, we've right. moved on, whatever the situation is, that's unsettling as somebody that has like crazy high boundaries and standards and all of the things, we For still security, don't know yeah. the ownership. I can request transfer of ownership, but that person would then have to do it. And this is on hundreds of documents. Right. Now, luckily, some of the past stuff is the past and it's just like, We've either made a new version of it or whatever, and it's not being used, but I'm sitting here with a, a, I would, I, in my opinion, it's a problem, but it's not a priority, but it's a problem right. that half my shit is owned by other people that I'm not currently talking to. Awkward. Yeah. And like going yeah. through all of that, the way the workaround is you can clone the document and then, you know, delete the old one, but technically I've got at least yeah. four people that have hands in my pot that. Well, and even so by doing that, like, yeah, it's not a big deal, but it's another step of something like, you yeah. know, all of those like little extra clicks add up at the end of the day, like the payroll or company. The fact they still to, have access, like they I could, mean, yeah. I, now these are not women that would ever do this, but they could but technically so. go out and be selling my shit because they have access I mean, to it. Yeah. So well, like, I mean, even a so, for effort of Ashley go delegate, but F for right. execution, because right. now you just like, get, I mean, I might as well be sitting here ass naked. That's how I feel with these documents. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, this is, it's, that's one of those things. Like you don't, like, you don't think about that. No. And thank God. Time. Now, yes. At one point, all of us had burned each other, but everybody was really nice. Like the first yeah. one I haven't, she's had a baby. She's not doing what she does anymore, but she was like, Hey, by the way, this is kind of weird, but I got notified about all this. She was very nice about it. Thank you yeah. so much. Which I'm is sure great. She brought one, it up. Yeah. That's still mad at me, which you know what? Be mad at me. I understand. I'm not your human. I'm not, I don't speak that type of womanhood, but you do you. She hasn't messaged me. I'm sure she's getting notified all the fucking time. And I'm uh -huh. sorry. Like, thank you for, you know, now you're stuck with me for eternity, but like, I don't know. And then it's just like, okay, well, you got to look at the priorities of it. Like how much are those documents being used? Whatever. We clone the main ones that are, you know, right. new versions. So it's fun. It's like, it's a problem, but it's like, I'm going to deal with right. it. Cause these people, I do still trust i might not i might not like you but i like trust or you you. you just don't work with them anymore yeah i don't know how to say yeah. that yeah it's like i mean i don't want you back i don't i, I don't know how to say that all the things and you i don't want to work with them it's me. Just, like yeah. they're done with me i'm done with you but respectfully we're not going to fuck each other in the interim right no sure. uh, yeah well and it's and everybody was under contract like so if anybody wants to try i welcome it come at me it, but it, I mean, it's, I don't think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, no, I mean, in this case, I, it's just in, business. Like we're all learning things and we're all like, right. oh, okay, guess what? All of our phone lines are secretly tethered. I mean, our phones do listen to us. They say yeah. they don't, but yeah. they do. I'm you know, I was going to tell you about that. You know how we were talking about how um, we like being um, targeted by the algorithms because we're finding really cute clothes right now. 
I still <laughs> like being targeted. So I was a little like, bit, yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it because I, I got an ad the other day on Facebook and I was like, oh, I just heard everybody bitching about it. And I was like, no, I actually appreciate you're showing me the cute stuff. I'll take one of those. Right. I add to the cart. Add to cart. Yeah. yeah. Add to cart. <laughs> I love that. You were like, yeah, I just add to the cart. I was like, amazing. Okay. So we've got tech problems. Uh, you had mentioned software. Is there something that you wanted to share? Yeah. So, I mean, like even in that vein, so the, the payroll company that I work with over the weekend, they decided that, uh, yeah, they decided that they're going to change servers. So they have spun the payroll company off into its own company so that it will have its own PL and can run independently of the accounting firm. Okay. And that way they can kind of track expenses kind of it, it can live on its own entity if it needs to right yeah well in the interim of like this whole process which is not an overnight thing like you can't go January 1st we're a new company like this is not all that works like this is going to be a year-long process well in that process they've taken every everything and moved all of our documents and software and computer systems from the main server and now we have our own server for the company and they changed it over the weekend, but then didn't tell anybody. So we all come in Monday morning and like nothing works. <laughs> like, oh my God. So, so then like things are broken and we have like these little workarounds so that we can at least still do our jobs. But I'm like, now it's four extra clicks. Well, not a huge deal. It's four extra clicks every time we do this one thing. And I'm like, and I've got 20 those, of those. Right. Like, after a while now, I'm not, it's very inefficient, like so inefficient. And I'm just like, this is where systems and processes and SOPs, regardless of how big you are, how small you are, are really important. Well, and also communication. Uh, yeah. Could you at least just told somebody? I don't know. Okay. By the way, I'm going with this whole theme of like A for effort, F for execution. Like it's I mean, just the thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just, I was like, so I've had this all week, this tech issue. Mm. So that started it. And then we had the whole Google thing yesterday. And my computer is just like, I know we need a new one of those. I need a new one. Cause I've been trying to upload all of our episodes into our, our new YouTube channel. So like I'm letting it run in the background, but it takes so much processing power while I'm doing 14 other things. Yeah. <laughs> and my computer's like, ah, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a second computer. I, uh, um, by the way, <laughs> sorry. Speaking of there's the idea. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the bookkeeping computer. I see. I was thinking though, maybe like you could be doing the uploading on one computer and then get a new computer. So that like, like, for example, I have the surface pro, so I don't know if that would help. That's what that is. Yeah. No, I saw yeah. that, but I'm just saying like, yeah. I wonder if you could be doing like both. I, yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you though, makes I my brain hurt to though. visit the past where I never gave myself <laughs> enough credit back in the day. I used to work both computers at the same time. And one was Apple and one is Microsoft. And I know this sounds like, oh, it's just a computer, what that is. but control C is not command C and nope. to be able to speak two languages through your hands. Can I just yeah. get some love for that? <laughs> like, I, I, no, it's a thing. Like, and that, I used to well, like mess me up so bad. And so now I just like laugh. Cause I don't know why I had to pull it out the other day. And I like got back on, by the way, I need a new keyboard. Like, you don't know how bad it is until you like pull it out. You're like, oh, like, okay, I'm gonna out myself. So I've been like, I went on client meetings like this and now I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> keyboard it's like missing letters it's got like scratch offs I was like girl you mine, mine yeah my laptop has that where like the c and the n right here are all scratched off yeah because yeah, like, <laughs> that's right yeah you went out in public like this like oh I need a new one but yeah I was just saying maybe that would help anyways okay so we've got <laughs> we've got life we've got issues like welcome to business ladies and gentlemen I mean this is just how some uh, weeks go I um, I don't even know where I want to out myself. I, I don't even know what's going on in my life. I, I'm, I think I'm, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I am in, <laughs> I don't know 
don't know. I don't know where it's around you. I don't know what to say to it. Um, I just keep getting bad news. Um, at the moment, yeah. it's not me, which is okay, but it impacts me. But at the same time, like I'm wondering if the universe might be showing me things through other people so that it doesn't have to, you know, directly slap me. But I'm like, my reaction is almost starting to concern me. Like I text you if I'd lost my humanity. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, pretty sure I have, which are way too nice to me, but, um, yeah, like, uh, not family, but family member of mine has been diagnosed with cancer. I've got my number one client who lost her biggest client. I have, um, people yeah yeah just crazy shit going on and not to out everybody's business but I'm just like what is going on and now my response why well, I was curious if I'd lost my humanity I'm like congratulations you have cancer and she was like and I was like the best things come from these times in our lives like where you either near death experience or you get the diagnosis or you get um the appendage out or what would you get out appendix yeah appendix I said appendage <laughs> give you like a third <laughs> leg it's fine um and I'm like this is so great and she's like but actually I'm gonna lose my hair and I'm like do you know the wigs that we can buy like you could be Cruella you could be um the brunette you could be a blonde like there's so many fun things you're gonna like hello you can have like five different lives now and she's like oh, da, 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 da. And I'm like okay obviously I need to meet you where you're at so yes this is horrible <laughs> Like, I don't know what to like, I've been through so many rodeos and around the block so many times. And then that was it. Um, I was proud of myself. I'm on the call with one of the new photographers and she's like, you're very, in I think she said, you're very interesting. She goes, you look so young, but the way you speak and conduct your business, clearly, you know what you're doing. <laughs> First of all, I was like, Okay. And I was Is like, you know what? I agree. It's so weird. Like it's part she hawk. It's part experience. It's part like, I just know what I'm doing. Like I'm here. Let's do this. Like, uh, you know, thank you. Not trying to respond to that. Uh, <laughs> like, it's like a backhanded compliment. Like, <laughs> oh, so like speaking of that, like backhanded compliment that. So for years I had worked with a payroll company up, up at W5 for years and it was local but I had never met them right like you do everything over the phone I'd call in payroll like it was automatic it was not a big thing but we got audited one year and so I had to go into their office to kind of meet with the auditor because they had all of the reports and I got there and the girl that I worked with like every day who I'd never met in person before the very first things that she said to me was you weren't supposed to be blonde <laughs> like do I not sound blonde on the phone? Like, what was I supposed to be then? A man? Like, what are the other options? Well, like, show me the drop down. I mean, it was, it's just one of those, like, you're smart. So you obviously can't be blonde. Yeah. Well, I, I want to say, and if he's watching, I don't mean this rude. I'm just very proud of myself. You remember the guy that I was all pissy about, um, that like booked me on Valentine's day and thought I was yes. pissing and selling. He actually yeah. apologized and genuinely meant oh. it. And I, I received oh, it, but man, good. I held my own. I was like, you know what? I deserve that apology. Like, <laughs> like, who the hell are you? Like, it was clear as day. Like you just don't lead with assumption. Like, I get it. Right. You're jaded. You're tainted all the things, but like, clearly that was not it, but he apologized. And I, I genuinely, I know he meant it. It was genuine and I appreciate it, Good. but just to go full circle on what happened there. Um, so clearly today is a day of gossip. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, today. <laughs> I did the marketing plan last night. I've got that thing coming up. Um, I'm trying to think of I guess just back to the humanity thing. Cause you know, I love to not circle talk. Um, I don't know. I'm genuinely concerned about myself and how I'm responding to like seriously bad things. I'm like, so good. I'm like done this before let's go. Like, <laughs> you, just, you, have a, <clears throat> you just have a different perspective than most people. Well, and what was my, like, I'm even last night, I was like, you're not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. But still, like, actually, like, delivery or like, catch yourself. I know. And by the way, everyone needs to know this secret, what I've already done. Um, 
and I can shout this out because she doesn't watch this. Like it's so her name's Jessica. I grew up with like Aunt Jessica. She's not actually a blood relative. She just knew my father really mm -hmm. well and is like the only one that still likes me. So cool. Um, and so uh, she does get emails better than texts. And so last night I made all the uh, not all these, but she gets three can three chemo treatments after this first one. And so I made mm -hmm. uh, pretty graphics in Canva of her favorite flower, which is the plumeria, mm -hmm. which by the way is symbolic mm -hmm. of new beginnings mm -hmm. and i scheduled emails to arrive the morning of each treatment plan oh, nice. and so like these are the things like people if you have android ha 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 you silly apple people but android phones you can schedule text for anybody that uses google when you go down to where it says send there's a little carrot that says mm -hmm. schedule and you can pick a day and time this is those moments where whether it's clients family anybody like do that so what i did was i made these graphics of her favorite flowers and her favorite colors and then i kind of used what i've been doing for my third newsletter that friendly ceo check-in and it's like a pep talk like the first <laughs> one was like um my coach suha taught us you never throw the first punch you only throw the last and so it's like i know cancer might feel like it's throwing all the punches but remember you get the last and it's like punching <laughs> that's a punch. nice then the second see, one and i did like, all that I thought see hard. you haven't you yeah you haven't lost your humanity it's just in a different place <laughs> <laughs> i'm like ready yeah i'm like sweet you get cancer <gasps> like you don't get cancer all the time do you know how much greatness you get out of that like you can pull the c card on anything oh i can't have cancer like do you know how much you can get right now like let's go sales freebies men let's do this i'm ready anyways yeah um it would be interesting um i offered to fly down and see her but she obviously chemo you cannot be exposed to anybody or anything yeah. so i'm just going to be sending gift packs and quack packs and all the things but um yeah uh yeah but that like i mean i know i have a heart and i think people often question if i do but it's like i don't have a heart for people i don't give a fuck about weird i mean weird but for those that like take the time are nice to me and like you know deserve my attention man i'm the most loving thing you will ever meet i'm like i'm like olivia i will sit on your lap and lick your face like it is just i am right there i'm not like a side yeah. i'm not next to you i'm the cat that's like right on you like on your oh. chest on your face like, i'm not gonna sit next to you i will be there <laughs> um yeah. so haven't lost my humanity check. no um the world is crap <clears throat> check I don't know like how else are we supposed to get through all this crap i don't know i know well and speaking of olivia i just told you before we came on like she did her she went through surgery for her spaying today she looks like she's gonna do fine and i go pick her up between three and four this afternoon so she'll be a little groggy and hopefully this will calm her down god she's I have so hard for hmm. i know i saw those earlier they look <laughs> so great i'm not done oh my god so we will fill get them up them yeah fill it up stuff but um yeah they look good so at least we figured that out uh, yeah. god off the screen <clears throat> that's been that's been w one of our picking dramas yeah. one of our I, it almost went drama llama status almost yeah it was close it was close <laughs> so yeah there, anyway, there. new skill of interior design who knew um i've got the lighting down all the things so you know if people watch this they'll see that we're productive we get shit done but i don't know how to serve people today we've got to give them something better than this um i know <clears throat> well so okay i do i will say i do have something okay we'll go back into yeah so we'll go back I'm gonna into just the, for this video fast forward to the 30 minute mark <laughs> oh my god um well and maybe not maybe that was the fun part for people also, i don't know no notes we need to address that too. I have a question about that. Like, are they relevant right now, but should we keep doing them and all the things anyways, do your thing better. Well, and actually after this, we need to, I want to actually need, I have some questions for you for the website that I need just another set of opinions on like Happily, direction. Because thank you for all the work that you've been doing on that. I'm so excited. Actually, Maybe that's what we should finally, do. We, should, we should screen share and walk them through it. We can do that. Might be something helpful. Yeah, we can do that. I, mean, you know, work, I don't anyway. care. I mean, it's this anyway. is how we work. I mean, like I we love can totally do that. We're scatterbrained right now. I'm gonna shut I up. I know what is wrong. With, like, what is wrong with this week? I'm. It's been like for two weeks now. I feel like. <laughs> it's, 
everything. I have like 15 tabs open and I don't know where the music's coming from. You know? Like, yes. That's how I feel. And then I'm like, I'm slowly like, I'm, I'm concerned about myself because I am not getting knocked off my like path. Like all these things should have knocked me off. All these things should be like upsetting to me or all these things should be like triggering me. And I'm just like cool, calm and collected, like a little cucumber over here waiting for her hummus dip. <laughs> well, and I, I thought about this earlier when we were talking about it. I was like, you know, okay, I'm having tech issues, but it's not mercury retrograde. Right. All planet. There are no planets in retrograde right now. So and we don't so even have an excuse. No, we have no excuses, but so like astrologically, because of that, everybody should be moving forward really fast Yeah, because there's nothing in backwards retrograde. And I am seeing that like Jim has been like speedy Gonzalez, like getting cranking shit out, which is why I'm like, Whoa. So maybe we drive in retrograde. Maybe we're different. Maybe we, Oh, I do. Cause I want slow. I like a slow pace personally. Yeah. But maybe like retrograde is like when we're good. And then everybody else is not retrograders. I don't know. I'm going to shut up. I... <laughs> well, I, I would yesterday. like to throw myself off of this <laughs> episode. <laughs> Anyways. Yesterday we were talking about um, just kind of with concentric there, his methodology, like framework around a business management system and right. like how we do that. How, like, uh, this is one thing with manufacturers and the kind of clients we work with, they very much are into management systems <clears throat> in different departments, like quality management systems or environment management systems or OSHA management systems. So there are all these different systems within the whole of a business which is a business management system, but not a lot of people talk about that as a whole mm -hmm. because there's no compliance standards with it. So like with quality management systems, you have to be, you have to get a certification to be quality management. You know, you either have to be certified to be an auditor, your company has to get a certification so that they can work with other manufacturers that have these same standards, but the business as a whole doesn't have it. But we do in our holistic way of working with clients. And so we, I was, I had like this epiphany of like taking a business management system. Like how do we educate business owners about business management systems when it's not really a thing yet? And it was one of those epiphanies that I was like, you know, I have all of these tools that I work with each one of my clients, right? Like I have KPI trackers that I work with clients. I have cash flow, you know, spreadsheets and PLs and like all of these different yeah, all of these different tools that I've created over the years. And I like, as him and I were talking yesterday, I like wrote down this idea of like, okay, I'm probably going to end up probably most likely over, over the next six months or so change kind of my brand positioning in that more simplistic kind of yeah. way. Um, I mean, I'm still going to keep what I've got, but that's going to be a bigger part of like how I work with my clients. And I was like, okay, well, so how do I pull all of these tools together that I have created and worked with over the years and make them in an organized, like business in a box, almost kind of thing. That's like this business management system to be able then to like, basically drop it in to people's businesses and make it like, make life simple for them with all of these different tools that I've created throughout the year. So it was, I haven't flushed any of that out, but it was just one of those ideas. I was like, oh, wait, I need to like, think about this more strategically. Like, how can I like make that a thing? Yeah. You know, it really reminds me of how I created the brand binder. Like it was mm -hmm. right in front of my face and I'm sure you have this too, but in, in your own digital way, maybe, um, I was going into the client that my very first client, very lucky. I got a full-time basically job off the first client, right? It was, Ashley, I believe in you. I love what you do. Come do it for our company. So I did. And it was mm -hmm. kind of like, she knew I was fully capable, but I didn't have a system. Let's say I didn't have a way of doing things. And I just knew I needed to organize the business and the brand. And so I started this like brand binder just to organize myself. Um, mm -hmm. Flashback. I can't even believe I'm telling this story, but when I've was very young and I was very lucky. We built our first home and my mom was designing the home and she had a binder and every tab mm -hmm. was a different room. And before Pinterest, before everything, she was kind of gathering yep. thoughts and inspiration and she didn't want to leave me out. And she made me like a baby binder so I could build my own house with her. And it was mm -hmm. kind of like a mother daughter thing before she went to mom. Fun. 
super cute, super fun. Remember, she was amazing before the demon phase. So we did all of that. And so when I went into the business, I kind of remembered that doing that with my mom. And I was like, okay, well, let's like put the brand together. Like, what do we need? What are the parts? Because they, at that company, there were five of us. So there was the mm -hmm. CEO, then um, four employees and myself, and I needed to get everybody on board, but also build the brand at the same time. And so mine was just a binder. Like it wasn't sexy, but in the end, it was like the best efficiency of how to do it. And then I digitized it too. I'm wondering if the same would be true for you. If you had like a mm -hmm. operations manual, AKA operations mm -hmm. binder, and you just yeah. kind of put in the tools that you typically, you know, if you got an ideal client next, like what are the tools that you would want to check are in place or even how you've done it with me, yeah. you know, like, okay, you need a copy of this, a copy of that, a copy of this. And I go through the systems and check, got that, got that, got that. And then yeah. similar to what you just reviewed for me, the implementation guide, I mean, shit, that's the answer. Just make your own. Like, how would you yeah. walk in? So, okay, mm -hmm. tomorrow I get my perfect client and this is where I would start. This is what would be next. And that's what we would end with. Like, I think you have all of it. And what's so I fun about it, us yeah. is we have it all. We just have to like put it together. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I have to like, in you know me, I'm a processor. So I have to like inventory it in my head. Yeah. process where does it all fit like and you know yeah. it'll take me a little while to figure it all out but yeah i mean well, it's, i will it's happily just... be your beta you are welcome to uh infuse all well, of your geniusness and iconic details and uh, mimosa so, hotline <laughs> well and this is i mean the other thing that happened that also happened this week and there's apparently a lot that's happened this week so i was up at the payroll company on monday working with them and i just mentioned they've spun the payroll company off into its own right. entity its own company and um yeah and so my accountant as we were like we were sit like he was doing my taxes while i was sitting there blah 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 the whole big thing anyway he was like so what's it going to take to get you to be my ceo of this payroll company and i was like you're not the first man to propose to me with this but <laughs> <laughs> Like, this is the proposal I get a lot. What does it take to be the CEO of my company? And I'm like, it's happened several times. And I've never completely said yes to anybody yet. No, but. I know. You are not. Yeah, I know. I've even done it to you. Um, <laughs> exactly. This woman you're not, you're the, people. I think, um, I think, I think you might be the first woman that's asked me. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm usually that for a lot of things. You're the first woman to play on the men's water polo you team. You're the first woman to do uh, build a business off of a general contractor, all male dominated industry. Yeah, I know. I hear this. Um, but maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's the maybe we're thinking too small for you too. Like op, we were thinking it's an operations finder. Maybe, maybe it's know. the CEO infusion. Yeah. yeah. It's a fractional CEO, yeah. Well, and uh, you know, he was like, "Well, throw me a number," and I was like, hmm, "I don't know." You Eight can million, buddy. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. And it, this is the it, in that particular situation, like I could totally do it. Like I can see it in my mind what needs to happen. It'll. It's not a quick process, but I'm like, one, I don't. I don't want to do something full time. Like I still want to keep all of my other clients. I'm already doing this for Jim too. Like I'm. <laughs> I mean, I'm not CEO. I'm working with you on stuff. I'm not completely your CEO, but pretty daggone close. Like, yeah. I mean, I do this for a lot of people. And I'm like, in that particular situation, it's one that there are four partners in the accounting side that then I have to like become the board that I have to really like answer to. And that becomes very difficult when you're sitting in that CEO position. And I'm like, so this isn't necessarily about money. <laughs> like, one, I don't think you as can much afford as pain me. And suffering. <laughs> but two, like I'm gonna have some ground rules of like, if you want me to do this job, you have to let me do this job. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, that I think that's where it really comes into play. Is people look at it and go, I want you to do this job. I 100 percent like see where you're going with it, like this plan, know how this works, but they won't give it up. Like they like then then you keep stifling it because you won't actually let them do the job. I have to bring something up because I think this is amusing about you. I literally am intrigued by it. I remember I was sitting in the Best Buy parking lot trying to get you to be my CEO. I, I honestly offered everything I had. I'm sure I, I offered you the cat at the time. Like I was on it. This happens to me so often. 
And, and I would be, I wouldn't ask this if it was like a one-time thing and you said no, but why do you keep denying it? Um, <clears throat> I don't know that it's been the right like project yet. Like I like working with a bunch of different people. I don't you know that I can like three company CEOs by now. Well, yeah. I mean, I pretty much am. Um, well, like, <laughs> I mean, pretty much am. Um, <laughs> it's one of those like, it's, I mean, I see a theme. I see a something here that I'm like, if you leaned into this and just let it be your thing, like, I think you could be the CEO of Simplicity and you go in and oh, you. Yeah. Oh, like, that's it. Yeah. CEO of simplicity. I need to yeah. write that down. And you go in <laughs> and like, you know, COVID goes in and destroys things, but you go in and just simplify. Like, like it's not about pulling out all the bad or whatever. It's like, you just go in and you make everything. You, it's, I don't know how to, mm, hold on. Yeah. CEO of simplicity. Let me see if I can rattle it off because that's how my brain works. Um, you're the CEO of Simplicity. You go in, you assess, dissect, and serve. I don't know. I I'll I'll sit on that more. I need wine for that one or a shower. But oh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Those are those are the things I need wine for for sure. Like yeah, those are mo those are mimosa moments. Yeah, yeah. But I just yeah, I feel like that's what you do for all of us. But we need to give it to you in a way that you don't feel confined. Like you have to be a free spirit in doing it because you love it. You're fabulous mm -hmm. at it. But the second someone tries to put it in a contract, you spook like a runaway bride. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> there's a movie about this. So, uh, <laughs> wait, what movie? The Runaway Bride. Have you not seen that movie? Oh, that one. I was like, no, I do. I wasn't making the connection. My blonde brain kicked in for a moment. I didn't just didn't make the okay. connection. <laughs> okay, welcome to everyone. When we do really smart shit, we have to do something really silly to like balance ourselves out. So we are we are in her balance zone right now, where she's gonna have to right. see her. <laughs> but yeah, so I yeah, just, apparently you're it's like so the funny. Runaway CEO. Like we all get really close <laughs> to you. We want to hire you. We'll give you our first child. We'll like literally do whatever we can, and then you bolt. I don't bolt. Like I, I mean, I don't completely have commitment problems. Just a little bit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> just stay here and wait for it, because like, okay. Well, I mean, this is a perfect example. Like Alan and I celebrate 23 years next month but we're committed not yet uncommitted. <laughs> yeah exactly it's kind of like you're what is a re irresponsible response responsible irresponsibility like that's right. me so commitment. we're gonna have a committed yet uncommitted thing so but i mean that also <laughs> creates this intrigue because we never know if we're gonna lose you to like the other person that offers something better that we don't have because we're not in that thing I just, like i get this i just i'm always that mysterious when you just never quite know no, which I'm down. It's like Mary Poppins. I mean, you're like Mary Poppins. You just fly in, make everything super sugar sweet. And then you're like spoonful of medicine. We're going to amplify all of this. We're going to detox the hustle culture out of this. And then uh, I, you just like, I don't know, the Northern wind comes in. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, you're committed to me too. Every Sunday, every Thursday, like you can commit. I just noticed yeah. that anytime someone offers you the moon and stars through a business, you kind of get spooked. <laughs> I mean, I, one of my core desired feelings is freedom. Like that's important to me. Okay. That is one so, of my core desired for How like, okay. So in the sense of what you're doing, you know, Mary Poppins definitely has freedom of this, but could this, okay. So let's just infuse freedom into the new persona we identified, which is the simple uh, CEO of simplification or simplified CEO. What did we say? It was good. CEO of simplicity. Okay, cool. That, um, this is why things should always be recorded too. That's why I always record my, I, know, I, I, did write I never know the shit I say. But yeah, I'm bad about that. Like oh, I say simplicity. brilliant things. And then afterwards I'm like, I must've blacked out. Cause I don't remember what I said. Yeah. So, okay. So let's take the CEO of simplicity and just infuse her with a massive shot of freedom. So I feel like 
you know, you can't work on a retainer because that's too committed. But I think you could what work on it. Like, I have a client that's retainer client. Okay. But is that what you like? Like, I'm thinking this is more like you would pitch them the start to finish and you would commit to that, but that would be it. It wouldn't be ongoing, ongoing. Um, like, I mean, with W5, I mean, I've worked with W5 for 15 years. True. Okay. So is it like get, get them from chaos to simplicity or like, what's the, what's the start and end point? Um, I mean, I guess with like, so when Jim and I talk about like working with clients, it's a, more on a project base, not uh, like going and kind of the way we positioned it is we come in and organize the business and get systems and processes in place to be efficient and to increase revenue to get it to either five or 10 X. Right. And then at that point you either, you know, you scale it <laughs> and you either take the next step to scale it even further, or you prepare for acquisition for a better value because you, because you've 10 X it. I think you, okay. I'm going to do something stupid, but how many letters are in simplicity? Hold on. I gotta write this down. Hold on. Oh, I, you're asking One, the wrong person for spelling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck yeah. So there's 10 letters in simplicity. So you should take Cape 10 as a motto and a theme and do 10X your business through simplicity. And then if I'm not going to make you be the acronym girl because I freaking hate that. Turn every word into an acronym, you know? I'm now the no. chief executive officer of fuck off or whatever they make you be or like the chief eagerness officer, whatever, like, I'm not saying that, but I like 10 is your number I, symbolically. I will. I do tell people I'm chief champagne drinker in my company. <laughs> You're a CCD. Okay. <laughs> it's just a fun little thing. I like to tell no, people. Like, yeah, I'm, do. I'm like, I'm chief champagne drinker. <laughs> Well, you know what, to deal with the level of chaos you love, it makes sense. So I don't judge that. Um, but I would do the 10 X your business. Um, I love the simplicity and I think it's just so what the world needs. Okay. Let's bring up that one topic I was going to say. So I was uh, playfully talking with a colleague of mine and I was telling her how, um, I am actively detoxing my business from hustle culture. And I said to me, the guru marketing, the courses, the coaching, and not all coaches, but I'm going to say this blank statement. So you could say the same thing about branders. I'm just saying, yep. um, this hustle culture, all this stuff, it's like eating sugar coated shit. Like you get in there and it tastes real sweet for a few layers. You're down for it. Like you eat the whole thing. And then all of a sudden the aftertaste kind of kicks in and you realize mm -hmm. you just ate shit. And you're sitting there like, I'm in a hurl. I have all this crap, all this energy. I spent building this out and doing this out and all this stuff. And I'm sick to my stomach over all of it. And right. so I think that the, be the beauty of simplicity and, you know, we were talking about the difference between skeptical and cynical and all of that. I think there's yeah. a huge tap in to where you are needed and you want, I think the, the other, the other side of your freedom coin is that your, your job is to go into companies, but not make them dependent on you in enhance them and fix them and do all the things, but make them self-sustaining, which is also sustainability is also an S word mm -hmm. and the word that we all want, but all of these other coaches, they make you dependent on them. Yes. That is true. And that is so I think simplicity, well. sustainability, uh, sanity. I mean, these are all little fabulous things. Um, I, yeah, I think CEO of simplicity is a big thing. People could hire you fractionally or whatever way they want yeah. to, or do a revenue split with them too. I know a lot of situations <clears throat> would need do that this. sometimes. Yeah. And I, do that, and I, I, I have done that. I mean, yeah, I currently have a couple projects that that's well, and what's great about that is because you you back your work, you know, you don't have to like, right. you don't have to demand a payment because you know, you're going to fix this shit and it's going to work like who else right. can say that? No, they right. charge you high ticket offers so that they can fuck you into bankruptcy and then you're still left with nothing. Today I am. Well, I mean, I did I'm not tell you. <laughs> 
I haven't either. All I've had, I've had two cups of coffee, so I'm about to. I don't even know if we should post this episode, but it's it's good. (laughs) It's live. (laughs) I I know shit, but this is also like what we talk about on Sundays. Like this is the way we dissect things, and this is how we like get to the core of what's the next thing. But I think, and I wonder how you feel. No, go ahead. I was just, I'm curious. How would you feel if honestly you didn't charge, but you did profit uh, splitting? Um, I mean, I, it's a risk, but I wonder, does that, does that yeah, honor uh, your freedom fighter or does that hurt it? Oh, um, I don't know. I never really thought of it in that, in that specific lane vein yeah. of thinking about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I will say like, there are certain clients that I go in and it is strictly, I just do specific tasks. Yeah. That is like, I want to be paid for my time for that. Right. Um, you know, but, um, I mean, as I, and I have clients that I do both with, I have some that are strictly just retainer. They pay me for it. W5 is a monthly retainer. Um, some are by hour, depending on how many hours I work. Um, and some are profit share, uh, you know, so yeah. I, they're all over the board for me and I can't necessarily say I prefer one or the other. I just, I'm like, okay, well, this is what I'm in with in this month. <laughs> you right. know, like I just, I yeah. don't even think about it. But I think there's a value in that, um, in, in meaning literally a value statement. You know how we start with the values and then build out the vision and mission. But I think there's a value in meeting you where you're at. The CEO mm-hmm. of Simplicity meets you where you're at in a business model or a partnership that honors you because you know you can promise results, like guarantee results. Now, I know every attorney out there just squirmed in their chair like, no, I know. But like I, you I did too, a little can. bit. <laughs> yeah, like you yeah. literally can. But I'm seeing this like, and then the 10X, so you've got a couple of things that are coming out that I keep seeing, but there's an S motif. So simplicity, sanity, sustainability, security, like there's this like S kind of like, and then also, isn't there something about S curves in math? What was the S curve thing? You remember that? Wasn't it like I you have to go math. down to go up or something? Like, wasn't that the S That's curve? a bell curve. No, I That's know, but curve. what was the S curve thing? Shoot. Now I got to Google mm. this. S curve in math. I mean, I, I was going to say like of all the episodes that we have done, this one is probably the closest to what our Sundays are like. I know poor people. They're like, you freaking do this on a, yeah, (laughs) on a regular basis. This sigmoid function. Um, it's the S shaped curve. Um, okay. I know this is a thing. Okay. That, oh my God, are you ready? I swear this is just Google everyone else on the, in the world, Google this, put an S and then curve in math. It says, are you ready? The simplest shit, you not <laughs> the simplest mathematical function that produces an S curve is called a logistic. Uh, I shouldn't even read more. I like, uh, hello, this is so it. Yes. The essential uh, screen, meaning of the function. Screenshot that. <laughs> I will. I swear to God, I will like, do you want me to screen share? I will screen share this right now. Oh, I was going to say, you can just screenshot it. So I can put like, it who can see this? Can you guys see this? I mean, like I am pulling, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get in on this. Okay. Can you see this? The simplest, like, hello, Ronnie, the simplest mathematical <laughs> function that produces an F curve is called logistic, which you would be helping with the logistics of the business. Right. The essential meaning of this function is to rate the growth. It's proportional. <laughs> I can't. It's too good. Like, that, could it be any more perfect? The rate of growth is proportional to both the amount of growth already accomplished. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. And the amount of growth remaining to both. I'm done. I mean, yeah. I mean, your job is done. This is your brilliance, right? Like, I mean, we've been talking about my brilliance, but this, you just showed yours. (laughs) This is what I I mean. I drop on that for sure. Ability to get this shit out of people. And I'm like, I don't understand. Oh my God. This is sexy. Oh, I love this. And like, okay, thank you for going to college for all the wrong things so that I would know what a fucking S curve was because I promise you had I gone to art school, I probably wouldn't have known this. I would have thought it was the other symbol. Um, anyways. Oh, I love it. Okay. So. I mean, I took economics and we talk about the bell curve for sure, but I don't know. (laughs) I mean, I I can take econ. (laughs) 
I know this one is um, application of S curve. It's a science direct.com. Um, I don't remember why I know this. That's the other scary thing. Like who pulls this shit out? Oh, can I tell you <laughs> side note? I want to pick up a uh, tea leaf reading because I love tea so much tea, the symbolism, um, like all the things I was like, this would be perfect, but this is how my brain works. Yeah. Okay. So this is an application by science direct, which is one of the original, um, like, okay. So when you're when you go to school for science, like obviously we can't use the normal Google. We have to do the like um, the what is the other one called where we would look up all of the uh, reports and everything. There's another version that you can go in like when you're in school and you find like the research papers and all of the other elements, not like normal Google. It's a different one. So in my brain, I'm because I'm 11 years older than you. I was like, we had Netscape. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. Okay, fine. Never mind. Anyways, this is a like viable uh, source though. And this is the application of S curve. So yeah, if we go down this rabbit hole, I will do more research for you on this. But like, what are the odds of that? Like the wording, like simplicity, logistics, the current growth to the potential growth. I mean, like who comes up with this stuff? Only a blonde with a she-hawk, duh. But I think there's something in that um, with the S curve. I think, you know, also playing it out, but there's so many, the core values of this company, simplicity, sanity, sustainability, security, sanctuary is another beautiful word with an S. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, I, I think it's time we put you through the branding process again, because I think through the discovery, you know, the chapter that we have, I think it'll mm -hmm. pull out all these areas that we don't know yet. You're not supposed to know. That's why these damn questions came into my world. And when you ask them the right way, it starts pulling all of this right. out and then we would figure it out. But I think the other thing too, is while CEO of simplicity is the primary persona, there's a freedom fighter too that freedom mm -hmm. that you want to keep and the, the ability that you want to go in, you want to do it, but it's not about dependability. It's about independence. It's about empowerment. It's about uh, giving yeah. them the tools that they need. So you almost have twins. I've only ever seen this one other time was with Kelly Mooney in her photography business. I've only, oh, yeah. I mean, I've been doing this for what, six years now, primarily yeah. business. I've only seen twins once and it was with her company because she had two distinct lanes. She had a high school senior portraiture and she had branding, mm -hmm. uh, like biz, uh, brand photography. And there was twinkle right. and sparkle. I never get to pick these names, but bloody that's what it was. So twinkle, I believe, no, I think I'm doing this right. Twinkle was in charge. No, I'm not. Sparkle was in charge of high school photography and Twinkle okay. was in charge of brand photography and they were twins. They did have mm -hmm. different um, aspects for how they would approach their side, but they were always mm -hmm. connected. They were conjoined twins. They had overlap. They shared parts, but there, there were distinctly two heads. Interesting. I but I swear to God, I, I think you got, I think you have a twin effect plus the freedom. And I don't know that freedom fighter is the right word because a lot of people are going to hear that um, politically. And I don't mean to well, like that, but you're <laughs> fighting for people's freedom too. So I'm going to actually bring this now into a really weird woo side of things. Yeah. Um, so when uh, I had my natal chart read, my birth chart read. Oh my God. So my astrologer that, work, that I work with, Aleka, had said to me when she read my birth chart the first time, she was like, so in a past life, you were a missionary, you were a freedom fighter. How do I know this shit? Oh my God. <laughs> she, which is, so, and that's why, she, that's part of the, she was like, you were a missionary of sorts. So like, you just got shit oh. done. So that's why in this life, my, my purpose in this life is to like, feel, feel more things as opposed to just get shit done. Wow. I scare myself. There are things that yeah. always pop up like this, that there's no bloody way I would know, know. and no way I could have ever. Well, wow. Okay. Well, and I mean, this is, this is one of those perfect examples and why we started all of this is for people to see how we work. This is how we work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I would they say want this kind of magic. Oh, sorry. This is totally a different tangent. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is what we do. I just said, this is the magic of like what we do. Right. Mm -hmm. But that is something that you and I have too. And I want to make sure we, um, like hone in on that and the website when we do the, like start to work out some of the copy for the mimosa hotline website, I want to like infuse this magic piece. Mm. 
like like do you mean uh spotlighting it and like um like highlighting just it kind of mean? or just or actually like co- just kind of like <sighs> collaborate so that it's infused into it yeah like collaborate so that's infused into it because because yeah. like even when we talked with carrie i was like ashley and i just have this magic that like yeah. it's hard to describe um and like i mean we do it in our work too i mean you just did it with me in the kind of work you do i do it with my clients like they think i'm magic when i do this shit but yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I, I don't but well, that was like my whole reason for that post it's a bird it's a plane it's an ashley rota and then i came right. out in the comments like genuinely asking people what is it that you think i do and based on the comments i was a freaking what was i like a twinkle fairy or something i was like oh my god Oh, no, a lovely because, okay, Angie called me lovely. Thank you so much. And then someone else called me Tinkerbell and it came out a lovely Tinkerbell. Oh. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> sure. I mean, that pays the bills. I'll be your lovely Tinkerbell. Sure. Sure. I was like, <laughs> of all the pet names, of all the pet names, and you've heard some of the most recent ones, but like, come on. Uh, but you know what? I see that. I see Tinkerbell in you. I do. <laughs> so little... <laughs> no, th- just think about it. Even like at the beginning of this conversation, you said that you were setting up um, like emails for your friend with cancer and like giving her all of these great little motivation things. It's like Tinkerbell, like sprinkling dust all over everything. That's so beautiful. Okay. Like okay. I see that. I'm going to make that compare. Like I don't see like Tinkerbell, like you know no i'm too just that like her tinkerbell I, yeah <laughs> i just mean in that like infusing these like really special little things because you okay. love to gift yeah and you, like, I, you know and what i what see that i will take does. that i will i will take that and i will also take that as this is how the universe gives me signs it's now gonna go make me watch bloody peter pan and study tinkerbell there's also i think there's a tinkerbell movie too and there's actually I there's something there there's something why I'm supposed to go watch those is there's something about your personas in there that I'll see and I'll be like oh my god this makes sense but nobody would ever be like you just hired a brander who's gonna go watch Peter Pan to build your Peter Pan as a kid Peter Pan was my favorite book really wow that's Mm -hmm. it see I loved Peter Pan so weird every night when dad when my dad would like want to read to me I'd always wanted him to read Peter Pan okay and what about it did you like like what what this is the the thing that I remember liking because I was yeah. little like that's hard to remember that the thing I remember loving about that book was there was a map in the front and I love maps okay um I don't remember why I liked the story like that part of because right, I was map. so little I don't remember I remember well, there was a map and I actually still have my my baby Peter Pan book from when I was a kid and there's a map in the front I always loved the map Okay, so two things. Number one, I think one, I have it somewhere. Side note, I just found mine because I built the bookcases. I have the Star oh. Belly Dinosaurs. That was my baby book. Oh. Star Belly Dinosaurs. And it's about oh. like dinosaurs that have eggs and they have to go to the top of the mountain and get their star belly dinosaur. And one of them like has an extra star or something. I don't know. I got to reread the book, but you were talking about your baby book. I found my baby book. <laughs> but yeah. yeah mine was Peter Pan. Mine's somewhere. For the brand. Um, I have a binder, you have a map. So the CEO of Simplicity would work on a map theme and have that be Mm. like a visual detail to pull it in. And also if we look at mathematics, it's mapping numbers. Correct. And an S curve, like- It's a mathematical. You know how, oh, I just got a visual. Shoot, I hate when this happens because you can't see it. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Have you- um, there's a picture I use. Okay, recording. Ashley, go back to. Um, I think it's my strategies. If I'm that fast, I'm gonna pull up something else. Hold on. The brand strategy image. It's like where. Or have you ever seen? Um, it's a beautiful mind, and he's like at the board, and he like, or the the new um chess movie where she can see chess on the not movie. Yeah. The new chess. <laughs> great. Yeah, Hamlet. Queen's Gambit. Yeah, Queen's where she Gambit. can do the chessboard. The I think I it's a beautiful it mind. He's like a genius mathematician and yeah. he looks at the board and what's not on the board, but it's like all these numbers and equations shows up for him. And it's like, that's the texture for your business is like mathematical equations, but it's your 
marketing equations and symbolism and maps. And like, that would be the texture, tech, texture and differentiation that would create depth in your um, stuff, in your marketing materials and visuals. So yeah, but that all makes sense. So this is where we go down that rabbit hole and we're like, okay, as the CEO of Simplicity, and, and the freedom fighter. I can't believe there's twins. I, I never thought this would happen again. Like twin, like twin personas. I'd seen it once. And I remember I was so nervous that day because there's always only been one, but I had to trust myself right. and I had to go to her. And I was yeah. like, I think you have twins. And she was like, what? I was like, I swear to God. There's <laughs> and she was like, okay. And that was the first day I ever really tapped into my woo when I kind of channel and do these mm -hmm. meetings. Because I was like, I swear, I just see it. And then just now when you saw the vision hit and it's like, I see it, you don't see it. Like, I feel like a fruit loop, like just a baddie <laughs> fruit loop. But it's like, this is how I work. And then like, you can't script this, no matter how hard we mm -hmm. wanted to create like a great episode or something, you can't just be like, today I'm going to show you my woo. Like, it's not like a boob. <laughs> I can't just be like, here. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the example you picked <laughs> okay i was trying to think of what else is available that you would like flash i mean i get it <laughs> it's all right it's not something <laughs> that's hidden that i just like pop out and there you go it's like I, and i'm not like that like jingle box do 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 oh like, yeah like that i don't know but yeah how does that feel? Like if you were to think of like, okay, if you were to step back and give creative direction to CEO of Simplicity and Freedom Fighter, and you had a board meeting with the three of you instead of me, myself, and I, like, do you feel like they would have direction for you of like how to build this out? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely see the synergy yeah. between another one of those words um between all of that for sure gotcha i got and it i'm writing it down synergy Syner well and synergy is such a bud word buzzword in like the corporate world oh, that's fine you're gonna be up in there yeah. too but actually you're not because yeah. you're but that's like when i say synergistic collaboration like it might be a buzzword yeah. but we mean it like we're not just yeah no like authenticity we yeah. like it's like it's a buzzy word yeah yeah that's fine well you've got like six which other is fine but it's still you get mm, there <laughs> and, well no i, I mean and, and synergy is a great word it's just in the corporate world they kind of like overuse it and it's kind of yeah. buzzy but well yeah, you also get the opportunity it, 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 to self-define it so your synergy right. is going to be different than their synergy but yeah right. so i just see the three of you at a table and then i will have to warn you because um if we did just birth your persona then you um how do i want to say that uh anyway i don't know irrelevant they're gonna get loud i think yeah. we've done this once before you had who was your first persona when we did pinterest and personas you alex. had one mm -hmm. alex alex okay is she still mm -hmm. at the table or did these two just take over um she's actually one of them okay so she might yeah, either I think be the yeah so who did she evolve into because personas do that too they will evolve like some you know at one era it was called luxury now it's called iconic detail yeah so is she ceo of simplicity or is she the freedom fighter um i think she's probably more the freedom fighter okay so we'll put this as the past alex okay great so she's still there she's still here she's just yeah more mature version yeah. of herself okay yeah so strong, she'll get loud like um if it helps you with the visual side it would be time to build out that new uh, pinterest board keep the old one that you had but start a completely new one new um i would title it ceo of simplicity and if you want to put freedom fighter in there too you can but build that all out the thing is um once you've birthed them and this is funny because you you knew you were meant for bigger we've been talking about this mm -hmm. they get loud and if you give them permission which we haven't done the exercise but i'm happy to after this call if we sit with them and let them fully come online then they're going to get bossy and it it's loud but just remember you're in charge you get to tell them like what frequency yeah. what tempo um but <laughs> yeah you're probably going to be waking up at 1 a.m with all these thoughts and ideas <sighs> sorry it's, well and it's so, like it's so funny that you describe it like that because I do have like a bit of this mediumship kind of thing. Yeah. And 
I have had somebody actually, I had talked my Aleko, I had talked to her about it at one point in time too. And she was like, just remember you're in charge. Yeah. Like if you don't want them there, you can not have them there. You tell them to go away. Like you're yeah. the boss here. So it's very much the, a similar thing as to when yeah. I see the ghost. I had to start saying that because in the beginning, when I was identifying personas for people, um, they were not, they were like, how do I say this? passionately complaining like they loved it but they were mad at me they're like ashley i was up all night long I wrote out this whole new business model. <laughs> yeah. i've been planning all this stuff but i haven't slept for like three days like it's all your fault thank you but it's all your fault like what am i doing and so now i had to start prefacing like you're in control yeah. like, let it flow through and you you'll come on board you already have alex we need to get a ceo of simplicity a little bit more vocal mm -hmm. for you so you can hear it better but mm -hmm. once you can see it here you can call it into the room and trust that it will show up for you but uh, and we have done so much work we know how to do this but right. for those like my mainstream people that have never dabbled in woo oh shit, these poor things are up they're divorcing people they're selling houses they're cutting hair they're getting tattoos they're like oh my god so out of liability i had to start being like you're in charge <laughs> because like yeah. if you don't know how to let like yeah. play in this realm it is abusive yeah like fabulously abusive but yeah you'll be up for like 10 days straight rewriting a whole new business you're gonna be like check the mimosa hotline website but i gotta go build mine it's gonna be amazing i just claim one of your ceo spots that you're gonna help because <laughs> i want in on this and i am the first one you're very you're well on your you. way so <laughs> like, i mean you're not the first one to propose to me but first woman to propose to me that's what i said i know i'm the first oh, woman. oh okay I, i'm sorry i didn't hear i didn't hear I woman. i'm sorry spot. yeah i get that spot. You get your ones. but yeah you get that no spot. and i can see this i think there's some beautiful beautiful like um old worldly elegance to it you know there's a beauty in math i always thought math was kind of, really pretty yeah. um i think the map element is pretty um i don't i, I mean, don't if you think about it like that old world beauty also too kind of leans into that speakeasy kind of look and feel I like as well a little bit that like smoky yeah. back room of where things actually happen yeah I'm just that's thinking, the like, freedom fighter side yeah like all like you're not allowed white paper you know that right like you're only allowed off-white or like handmade paper oh yeah like you cannot have normal seals or, wax yeah mm -hmm. wax seals and, yeah yeah Mm -hmm. um yeah like yeah i don't get speakeasy vibe from it at all i think you'll get your not as much fix. you'll get that from mimosa hotline so you don't don't yeah. feel like you're gonna lose that you'll you'll still yeah. get that but this one no i get um rustic um old world like classic timeless elegant um but there's a there I used to have a word I made up. I'm going to share. It's ruggedy. It's like rough and edgy, ruggedy. It's, mm -hmm. it, I need that word right now. I know it's not a word, but it's an aesthetic to me. It's it like, is now. <laughs> yeah. So everyone just, you know, ruggedy. It's like um, rough, edgy, but like refined, like good cologne. Um, yeah, ruggedy. It's got a ruggedy vibe. Okay. Um, yeah uh very balance between like masculine and feminine stuff but yeah i don't know the the yeah. equations just kind of show up and the maps and then having a map to success or a, a, a map to 10x your revenue or a oh fuck success is an s word <laughs> scale success scale. oh shoot scale oh god scale Bummer. Okay, it's all over the place. There's a lot of S words. Yeah, there's oh a lot of S words here. The S in ourselves all day long. We're gonna be messaging. Hey, S, 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 S. <laughs> um, yeah. How's that? So feel? good. I mean, I we're over time now. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, we are. Okay, sorry. Back See, to the real perfect, world. Snap perfect. Ex back. Perfect example of getting in the flow, and then going over time on the show.
Yeah. We get into this, like, I don't know. I was up in the astral plane. I don't know where y'all were playing, but I was up there. <laughs> and, and it start, the, well, to be honest, we started off really rough for the first 15 minutes. So we're kind of, we're on, on time. time. We're going to just tell everyone <laughs> to skip forward like the half hour mark. And then it gets amazing. So yeah, really good. Fun. I love that. Well, I'm eager. I'm <laughs> eager to see this was not, I don't feel like this was just like, um, a magic trick or a, sh you know, a party trick. I genuinely think we found your next. Yeah. Which is also why I mean, I've been bouncing. Well, and had already been bouncing off the simplicity idea already too. So yeah. like, yeah, this is just a natural progression of where that was going. Yeah, but I think it, it like gave it a little bit more form, maybe, maybe. All because I got proposed to again this week. <laughs> I love your problems. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Well, yet again, it happened, Ashley. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's why I'm just like, when are we going to start listening to this? Like, how many times do you need to be proposed to before you actually say yes? Uh -huh. And I think what's better, too, is this time you're saying yes to the intention and inspiration behind it, not necessarily the company or the person. Like, you get to still make it your own and, like, you get to have control over it and how you share it with everybody. But I think, yeah, like... There's that one guy that we both don't really like, um, who was like, what's his offer? Like if for every, would you pay me a hundred dollars for every thousand dollars I got you? And they'd be like, well, yeah, well, how much do you want to make? And if it's like a hundred thousand milestone, then they give them a thousand dollars. No, what is that math? $10,000. $10, Sorry. I couldn't do that really fast. I was trying to do the easy math. And then he's like, if it's yeah. half a million, then it's this amount, whatever, whatever. And it's like, I think you could also take in that motif too, because you do, you, you have the ability to back what you say. This isn't just smoke and mirrors and all the bullshit. It's like, we actually, God forbid we could do what we say we do. Yeah. Well, I mean, on top of it, I mean, I have an MBA. Like, so it's not like I don't have the credentials to do it too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know I was talking to a beautiful woman uh, yesterday and we were, she's like, uh, she's in the counseling space for relationships and she has multiple degrees in psychology and all this stuff. And I was like, I do too. Like, it's weird that we actually have like, not just, you know, she was saying, um, it's not just a seven hour course where she got certified as someone that can right. like, you know, tell you yeah. this shit, but like, act, like, Yeah. Anyway, so yes. Okay. Well, let's end on that note. Um, I need to go ground myself because I'm still up there with your personas. Like I'm still up here ready to create this whole thing. Um, yeah, go like go have a drink on me, talk with them. <laughs> talk with them. Yeah, like go figure out my shit and then come back go to figure me. Figure it all out and then come. Yeah. Here's the simplicity in me. You go figure it out, bring it back to me. I just can't believe that that all connected from the S curve to the 10, to the, like, to the map, like that's wild to me. That's my favorite part of this stuff. Yeah. You know, like there's no way anybody could, connect uh, that's not, that can't like, that's not scripted. No, no. It just comes out of people when they're ready. It's wild. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I think you just helped, you know, who, Hmm. I need to do this for our other bestie, our number one viewer. She needs this. Oh. I bet her persona has evolved. That's why she's got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. <gasps> oh, yeah. I was like, okay. oh, boom. So I will call her and we will make that appointment immediately. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That, that answer yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, and I mean, going back to where we even started, like people, when they get in the shit, like- <gasps> The reason for that could be because it's now something has evolved. Yeah. You need to get excited when you get diagnoses. You need to get excited when you think the world's falling right. apart. Like this is what this, you're, what is that beautiful quote? Like, don't be afraid to fall apart because you can build it back new and better or something. I, I'll post that. There's a quote on my Pinterest board that I absolutely love, but it's something to the effect of like, fall apart to build it better. Or when you think it's falling apart, really, it's aligning. Do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm we've been sure too I've smart. I owe you nothing, viewers. Nothing. 
except somebody who definitely needs a persona session. So I will, I'm excited to call them and be like, I know what yeah. we need. Yeah. Grab your Cosmo. <laughs> no. We need this. Yeah. Just no. And she that was makes just telling me this morning. She was like, I I feel weird because while everything's falling apart, I feel like I'm meant to I'm to playing too small. I'm supposed to be doing something bigger. And I didn't pick up on it. Interesting. So woo-hoo! I love personas. I love them. This is what I do. I mean, branding's great, but it's the personas that I just <laughs> I, this is where I'm absolutely addicted to what I do. And it's not for the money. It's not for building brands. It's for helping people to identify their iconic essence and then build it out and give it mediums to express itself. That's Mm -hmm. branding. That's that stuff. But this Mm -hmm. is, this is the thing that most branders can't and won't and don't do. They don't do. They do applied branding, which, uh, let me give you a personality test and a preset color palette and paint it on and call me in two years. And they don't even give you a personality test. (laughs) (laughs) Like here's some colors that look like you. Yeah. (laughs) And a pretty font. Yeah. (laughs) Based on the psychology of color, you're a financial advisor. Let's give you green. Green. blue. (laughs) So funny. Like we're both like green, Green. (laughs) you know, insurance. Blue. Blue. <laughs> um, <laughs> relationship expert for red. red, like how, yeah. Burger yeah. joint, yellow and orange. Yeah. I was going with orange, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yellow and orange. It's all, it, yeah. yeah. Isn't, isn't it? Um, did I read somewhere that like when you go in restaurants, like they like to do, is it orange in restaurants? Because orange makes you hungry. Yes. Is it orange? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had always heard that. Yeah. yeah. And which is so weird. I'm going to out myself really fast with my cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never, it's not appetizing to me. I don't know why, but sure enough, it is. You're hungry. And it's like, uh, yeah. So, you know, another fun, playful thing. And um, I don't know if you know this, but McDonald's where they are red and yellow, but mm-hmm. in paint, if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. orange. So even though you don't see orange per se, mm-hmm. your brain will put those two together, the primary color mm-hmm. and make that subconscious orange. And then we think of, um, is, um, Burger King, they're orange. Mm -hmm. Um, But when you start looking at a lot of fast food companies, Mm -hmm. you're going to see that there's this red, orange theme, Taco Bell, all these, no, Taco Bell's not, that's blue now with the bell, but um, there's all these subtle details that you'll start picking up on it, but absolutely. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. And I, I would love to get more into that in like environmental staging of things, just because I think, yes, interior designers are very mindful of it, but I think it would also be unique to collaborate with one for the strategic side of the brand element too. Not just that it looks great. And I, I want to give credit to them. They're doing it naturally. They're not thinking it's branding. They're right. thinking it's like interior design, but it, it it's part of it yeah. too. So I think <laughs> it would be smart. Like, I mean, here's a couple of things. So green to initiate conversation and action, green plant, you know, <laughs> black and gold for luxury, dependability, um, all the things. And then lighting that yellow color that's giving action and like mm-hmm. soothing tones. And it's just interesting when you start looking at it all. Um, I was mm-hmm. talking to somebody the other day about why I always try and wear black. Uh, one of my Facebook memories came up and it was talking about one of my first styling clients. And it was the outfit that changed it all for me. I had a very cute outfit on. It was like this vertical stripe, but my client, every time she kept getting dressed, it was that uh, caramel colored brown or caramel camel, yeah. whatever color you want to call yeah. that khaki. Sometimes um, everything I put her in, I couldn't understand why she looks so bad. We were clashing by standing next to each mm-hmm. other. And so then after that day, I always wear black either on set or through a um, um, set in the wardrobe, um, in the dressing room, or then in client meetings, especially on persona days, I need to be as neutral as possible. Right. Anything that I have as an exposure to you, you might see and pick up. Mm. So I almost thought maybe we shouldn't fill out the boards too some days because anything that's on there could impact what they say. 
Like you don't need it. it it's so subtle some days. So you got to be yeah. really careful on how you do things. And so, but again, I don't think a lot of branders have that integrity. They just take from one yep. project to the next project. And there's sometimes this like transference that they don't really give credit to. Like when I design something, I only design. So this afternoon, actually, I'm working on a Violetta project. I'm only working on her color palette and her stuff because- right you know, creating yours in the morning and hers at night, there might be a, a thought, um, yeah, well, it's like brain synapsis that's still on her design. Level. Like you <laughs> right. have to keep the integrity of the design. Like, yeah, you know, at- my photographer, my photographer, Dana, like anytime she goes to a shoot, she always wears black. Mm-hmm. And I think she doesn't realize why she's doing it, yeah. but it's doing it so that it doesn't clash. Yeah, and she definitely did it at weddings because then you, uh-huh. you fade in the background. Cause it's supposed to be about the bride and Absolutely. Yeah, she did and the same thing. It's a professionalism. It's a uniformity. It's a consciousness. It's an intentional element, but, um, yeah, God. And then, you know, I always laugh. If you look at some of the highest fashion designers in the world, they always wear black, they always wear but black. their work is super colorful. Their lives mm-hmm. are super colorful. Um, and then also just some of the, you know, millionaires that have this or billionaires that have the same outfit. It's just one less Steve choice. Jobs. Yeah. Right? Steve Jobs. Well, I think Mark Zuckerberg does that too. Like he has the same shirt. Like, so you don't, you're not wasting your brain power. Like us doing the whole, like, I was just smart. Now I have a blonde moment. Like then they don't have to make that decision, yeah, <laughs> you exactly. know, like it's one exactly. less decision. Yeah. It's interesting. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we need to talk about it more, I guess, and share more. That's the last thing I'll say. It's like, it's just so annoying. You know, we have all this knowledge and we think everyone knows what we know or that we say it all the time, but we don't say it nearly enough. And we, I just, I, I mean, I say that to people I'm ready to marketing. just get obnoxious and just say it and say it and say it and say it and say it. Cause damn. One person listens, by the way, shout out to Violetta. She listens to everything that we say. She rocks at it. She's doing great with her stuff. Um, it's, it's exciting. So, all right, we're going to call it. Yeah. We're way half. over. Yeah. We're way over now. We're sorry, but not sorry. sorry. We hope you yeah. had a great, wonderful time. You cleaned your office, whatever you've done with us, but this was fun. So, yeah. all right, guys, we'll see you next Thursday right. and uh, let us know if you have anything that we can support you with. Bye. Bye.